today's a big day. Today's the day Florian arrives in America. Finally get to be with my man after four and a half years. Aww. We only have 90 days to get married, and a lot can happen within 90 days. A few months ago, some pictures surfaced online of Florian and another woman. My heart dropped. I called him up right away, but he told me that nothing happened, that she just kept wanting to like take pictures with him and make it look like they were a couple. I'm just trusting and believing and having faith that what he says is true. You should have never I, took uh, pictures listen, with her. I understand this, man. You knew I was going to get upset listen, about listen. that. I feel bad, trust me. But you didn't feel bad the day you met up with her and took hey. pictures. So you don't you you didn't know she was gonna trick you into taking pictures and post them online like you guys were together. I like to talk more this kind of stupid thing. Well, now that we're face to face, I feel like you know I feel like we need to talk about it. How many times repeat are you coming on me? Fix this situation. Talk to face to face. What are you coming here? I'm not coming here to to doing this kind of stupid things again. Trust me. I know because this is the last chance. I understand. I hear now, bro. So we just need to. Make sure that it's never going to happen again. Never happen again. Trust me, I promise you. Ever since I discovered this video floating around of Florian in another woman's bed, we Hi. haven't spoken to each other. <laughs> when I first brought it up, he shut it down real quick. I don't need to be dealing with this bullshit. You should have never met with her. Point blank simple. Why the f did you meet with her? I you understand this girl tried to ruin me and you together. But that doesn't explain why you were in her room and laid on the bed. Why the f were you in her bed? I thought it was over months ago, but she just keeps exposing about you. I don't want to wake up one morning and see another video or you in bed with her or God forbid you naked or some Is there anything else I need to know? This girl in the coffee and tell me, come here and go, come here to... So she you. lured you to her room? Yeah. Did she try to kiss you? Just try. I, it's like, it's not like to kiss me, but it's like to take the picture. Oh, I'm kiss her, I understand. It's uh, the so kind of thing. To trick you into kiss, to yeah, make it look like you guys are together. Yeah. yeah. Listen to me, everything was me see two hours in my life. I don't live life for people, I live life for you. Today is the day that I'm getting married. Right now, the only people that know that I'm getting married today is obviously me and Florian and the officiant. And me and Stacey right now is so happy. Me and Stacey build the trust. I like to prove every day, every night, Stacey can trust me 100%. Florian and Stacey, do you choose to join together in marriage? Yes. Yes. Will you love and honor each other as husband and wife for the rest of your life? Yes. yes. Florian, do you take Stacy to be your wedded wife? Yes. Stacy, do you take Florian to be your husband? Yes, I do. Excellent. I do now happily pronounce you husband and wife, and you may kiss each other. You're married. Congratulations. You. If you have your license, I will sign it. And yes, um, I need your help. This is count. This is the county of. Well, Middlesex, right? And We're not in Middlesex. No. Oh. Does that oh. matter? The wedding has to be in Middletown. Oh my God. Oh, well, oh, I, okay. Can we go to Middletown right now? We can do it right in front of my dad's house. Let's grab our cars and get going. All right, we're here, we're here. We made it, we made it. I just hope we can do this quickly and quietly because we only have like 10 minutes before it's midnight. Yeah, we made it. <laughs> And so I now ask you, Florian and Stacy, do you freely and without reservation choose to join together in marriage? Yes. 
I do now joyfully pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Mm -hmm. Do you send some videos, Stacy? To that... you? Yes. But oh, I'll God. show you if you don't. Here's the oh, first God. one she sent me. <sighs> Wait, what? Let me see. She's faking like sex noises, like they're trying to mock sex, Stacy. Okay. I what else did she send you? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what? That was it. She's trying to, like, like trying to do a, a porno, but he, the, the boob got touched like that, like. I think I'm gonna th throw up. I wish I would have known about this sooner. He should have told you all of this before he said, I do. He knew this. <sighs> it's hard to tell me the full story. You need to, to tell the truth. I just. Kiss her. I don't, kiss her. I don't, I don't, I don't care. Like, passionate? Was it passionate? Kiss her. I don't Did you feel anything passion. when you kissed her? I don't feel nothing. I don't want anything. I don't love her. I just love you. What you talking to you? You f***ed her, you f***ed her. At this point, I'm sure you did. Did you? No, Marstace. No. You didn't? I know f*** her. This happened, happened. What you can do? And that was the only time? Yes, Marstace. It was it? Time. Only Anything time. more than that? No, Marcus, I don't have nothing no more. I understand it's not easy. Okay. I, understand. I cried so much. I have like no more tears left. I understand. I just have like You'll a be... big lump in my throat yeah. that won't go away. He said he kissed her. This better be it. I can't take anymore. The day is a big day. Yeah. Let's go make a baby. <laughs> We're back in Connecticut. Today's the day that Flory and I have our fertility appointment, and this is our first time ever talking to a doctor at a fertility clinic. This is all new to me, and it's new to Florian. So we're just going to get educated and see what our options are. Have you been trying to get pregnant? Um, you know, it's, it's active life style. We don't use protection, right. so it hasn't happened yet. So typically, after you've tried for a while and you haven't been successful, I usually suggest that you do some testing. Okay. My concern is, of course, your age. Yeah. Once you get into your 40s, the number of eggs that you have is reduced. Uh -huh. And you see very sharp decline in success. But <clears throat> the, the, the thing is, because of the age factor, I think you need to be more aggressive in, as far as the approach. Mm -hmm. This is starting to feel really real. I'm hoping that I have at least a year or two. But I'm 46, and I just need to know for myself, you know, how my body is doing. It's the unknowing is what's scary. Nothing fears here. Ready to make the call? Yeah. All right, I'm right here. Nervous? Be okay. Flory and I are about to have a video call with the doctor about my test results. Hi, Dr. Levy, thank you. Hey, doctor. So, uh, I wanted to review with you, I wanted to share with you the results of the testing that we did. Yes. Essentially, the blood work that we did, there's a few hormones that we check uh, in an ultrasound that we do to basically give us an assessment of what we call the ovarian reserve, how many eggs are left. It doesn't look very promising as far as uh, being able to become pregnant. Realistically, the chances of having a success, meaning that you actually have a healthy baby, are probably in the low, very low single digits, 1%, 2%. It will take a, um, a small miracle for it to actually happen.
What about your wedding party? So do you have maid of honor, bridesmaids, matron of honor, anything like um, that? My sister, Darcy, okay. she's gonna be the maid of honor. <laughs> and do you have a best man? I know I have told Stacy who is my best man. Everybody going to be upset at me. But I can't hide it any longer. I, uh, I'm thinking for George. Who? George. Are you serious? I just, I, I don't understand. Best man I have, my father, but it's not here. It's not my boy. <laughs> so you're gonna choose Georgie. Like that's gonna be very weird and awkward and cause unneeded drama. I'm so pissed, but I'm gonna keep my cool because I don't wanna lose it in front of Danielle. Florian really chose the wrong place and time to tell me this news. This is up. Okay, so what do we think of this venue? I like it, babe. I don't know. I mean, you have the ocean view. For location, it's a little more love. <laughs> that deck, I wish it's not exist. I understand okay. my point. You wish the ocean doesn't exist? No, no, no the, the, deck. the deck. Oh, the deck. The deck, That's I wish. That's for pictures. I know, I wish it's not exist, to be honest. It's, we need to be more high, like look the view more. I am just so frustrated right now. Florian is critiquing every little thing about Harbor House. He's acting like nothing's good enough. It's almost like he's trying to sabotage this wedding. I'm starting to feel like he doesn't even have a say anymore because he's not contributing. Put your money where your mouth is, but you got no money. So I think I'm gonna make an executive decision. Okay, executive decision. Yeah. We're gonna book it. We're booking it. Okay. Okay. I'm paying for it, we're gonna book it. I'm. 40K, it's doable. Okay. We're gonna do it. We're gonna book it. It's a lot planning a wedding, but it's also a lot to cancel a wedding. So we could try to move the location and we could still, you know, say our vows and have my dad walk me down the aisle here in Connecticut. But now we're gonna put our wedding planner in a really tough position. Hi, Danielle. How are you? I'm good. Hi, Stacey. Hi, Florian. How hey, are you guys Florian. doing? Hey, good. We're good. We're, you know, just here with our dad, and he's resting. He's doing much better. Um, oh, good. Yeah. But on another note, Florian and I wanted to call you to see what you thought about us uh, planning the wedding here in Connecticut. Really? Yeah. Do you have a time frame in mind of when you would prefer to do this? We're thinking in the next few weeks. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> you know, it doesn't have to be over the top, like kind of how I wanted. In Miami, I know we were gonna have fireworks and yeah. tons of flowers, and it was gonna be, you know, super lavish. So oh, like nice. scaled back glam -ish. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is a lot of work. I want to start reaching out to venues and everything right now. It's not going to be easy. I will do my best. We got not a lot of time, but hopefully I can wave my magic wand and give you guys the wedding you're dreaming of. I'll be too, and everything will be fine. Baby girl, you look so beautiful. I'll we'll marry your king. Soon I see Stacy, that is the most beautiful woman I see in my life. The dress is beautiful. And like, I never see Stacy like that. Coming like some beautiful light, basically. 